Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me, Alan Ander, once again. How are y'all doing today? On this fine Sunday, July 5th. Um, today, um, earlier, a few hours ago, Geohot released the Mac version of Purple Rain. And now today I'm going to show you how to utilize that tool on your 3GS. So if, as you can see right here, I have the Purple Rain icon. And um, just running it, it's a simple interface that the Windows version provides you with. So just plugging in the iPhone to the Mac. Um, make sure you have 3.0, not 3.1 beta. Make sure you have the latest iTunes and you're pretty much set to go. Um, if you already used Purple Rain for the Windows, um, you don't have to do it again. So uh, this is only for virgin um, iPhone 3 GSs that aren't jailbroken yet. So we're going to click on Make It Rain and it already found the iPhone and it's going to enter the recovery mode. So um, as you can see live, it Turn on the screen, but it darkened it, and it's going to enter recovery mode in a few seconds. Okay, I can see the the loader still rotating. There we go. So it's going to restart. See right there. Move this way. So it's going to show you the iTunes recovery image, and then it's going to show you that image right there. Purple Rain. Once you see that, um, iTunes is going to launch a course bitching at you for recovery. And then once you see the Purple Rain app on the Mac say done wait, as you can see right there, go ahead and quit the app. You no longer need it. Once you have this picture right here pop up on the iPhone, that's pretty much it. Pur Purple Rain is now running on the phone. The process is all being done on the iPhone. Pretty much what QuickPwn does and Red Snow. So now disconnect, there's the Apple logo, and we'll see a jailbroken iPhone in a bit. Tick tock, tick tock. Just waiting for it to boot here. Finishing the process. I'm going to share my passcode real quick. And there we go. Um, when you jailbreak the phone, there will be an application called Freeze. It's not going to have any picture on the icon. You're going to tap on that application, and it's going to show you a button on the bottom that says Install Cydia. And once that's done, it will download Cydia directly from a Wi-Fi source. So before you run Freeze, make sure you have Wi-Fi on your iPhone. Make sure it's connected to a network with an internet connection before um, running the process. After that, your phone will reboot and you'll have the usual brown Cydia icon. And let me just show you how fast this loads once again. It's just remarkable. Look at that. Loading data. You know, if you're on Wi-Fi, this thing's going to be really, really fast. Updating database. It's going to take a little bit longer for me because I installed the all sources pack from Pwn Center, the, re the, re the repo. So it's um, generating the latest releases for all the applications. But um, that's pretty much it. You got your Cydia and everything working. Of course, the only thing you don't have running um, yet is Winterboard. Um, this version of Purple Rain for the Mac and the new one they released for Windows fixes a few payload issues and code signatures. So now it's up to Salrik, also known as Jay Freeman. Now it's up to him for him to uh, fix the Winterboard to make it compatible with the iPhone 3GS. So this is my video. Um, Purple raining your iPhone 3GS. It's as simple as one, two, probably only two steps I probably did in this video. And uh, once again, you can download it at purplerain.com. And with the I, it's a number one. And just click on the Apple logo or click on the Windows logo if you have a PC. So that's pretty much it. Purple Rain iPhone 3GS on the Mac. Pretty simple to use. And that's it. Peace out, guys.